Hey guys, this is David Lucas with In The News. So, um, I made a post earlier today, but I wanted to really, I had a conversation with a family member and made me think about some of the things that's going on uh, in the Republican Party. Okay, so uh, let's rewind back to, this won't be a short post, so let's rewind back to 2016 when Donald Trump was running for election during that time, he started fundraising and doing his thing, and and the country jumped behind him, and he became the president. So now, this is what the Republican Party knew and thought during that time. So if you rewind back to 2016, the Republican Party knew that they were not going to win the election. They also, and they were not supporting Donald Trump at the time. Okay, so, but they realized that they would not be in power as far as the president was concerned, for the next 20 years. That's where they were. Whether you agree with it or not, the pundits and everybody knew, the polling knew, that the Republican Party was not going to be in power for the next 20 years as far as the White House was concerned. So all of the guys who, uh, at the time, who were the powerful Republicans, <clears throat> they decided that they were going to get behind President Trump candidate Trump at the time, they would get behind him and they would be in solidarity with him, use his population, use his popularity to help him win the election, which they did successfully. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. But here's the deal with that. Since then, the Republican Party has basically, um, how you say, Basically, they have just said, no matter what happens, criminology be damned, okay? No matter what happens, we're going to support Donald Trump. And they have, and they did that loyally, and, and almost to discredit now, okay? So with all of the financial and all of the crazy felonies that Trump has been accused of, none have been proven yet but that he's been accused of, it's harming the Republican Party. So at this point in what's going on now, fast forward 2023, Donald Trump is actually harming his party. He's not helping. His popularity even is harming his party. Now, let me explain why. That means that the Republican Party has probably some decent, maybe not the best, right? But probably some decent people who could probably win the next election. But because, because Donald Trump's population popularity takes away from those candidates any potential of them winning the election. Because right now, the masses are only getting behind Donald Trump. Well, Donald Trump has a lot of criminal investigations going on right now. He's not going to beat Biden. Biden is a shoe in in this race. In fact, in fact, Donald Trump's election helps Biden to win. And people who are in the know about how this works Understand this. Now, I'm going to get a ton, a ton. I'm going to get a ton of comments saying, oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Trump's going to win. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. I'm telling you, Donald Trump's election potential right now is, is no good, but, because he's not going to win, but... The fact that others are trying to win for the Republican Party, Donald Trump harms those Republicans. He's taken away votes from those Republicans, and he's taken away media presence from those Republicans. He's taken away media dollars from those Republicans. So in, in an essence, Donald Trump is sinking the Republican Party at the moment. 